Good morning, and welcome to Publishing Your Models with IC Netson. My name is Kareem Shashakli, and I'll be presenting this to you today with Jeremy Merritt. Jeremy will be doing most of the demonstration, um, which will happen after I pass. I'll do some introductory words, and I'll pass it off to Jeremy. Before we start, I want to go over a few mechanics on how to use the, the uh, webinar software. You'll notice in the top left corner, there are two buttons. I'm pointing to them right now. The top button allows you to hide or display the control panel that's shown here. And the button below it uh, allows you to go to full screen mode, which you might need to do in order to see everything that we're doing. At the bottom, you'll see a place to enter a bunch of questions. Well, anything you want. Um, so please feel free as we go along to type in questions and we'll answer them. We'll queue them up and answer them at the end. Um, as many as we can. And those that we can't answer, don't worry, we'll email answers afterwards. So be assured we'll answer all of your questions. Especially during the demo, please take some time to, if you have any questions at all, please, please enter them. I see NetSim is a, is a feature that we've introduced with uh, version 9.1 supports this. Version 9.1 allows you to uh, take models that you've built with the user interface and export a file that is then run through this thing called the IC NetSim Wizard. We'll see a picture in a second. That publishes your model to the web so that other people can see and use and interact with your model. It's a very simple process. It takes only three steps. And the model that you see online looks just like the interface layer of your model in iThink or Stella. In addition, nobody needs to. Uh, install special software on the computers in order to view these models. They run normally and naturally in your browser. Just to review the architecture briefly before we go through the demo, you build your model in I think or Stella, a Mac or Windows, on your desktop computer down in the lower left corner. Once your model's built or actually at any stage that you want to test it, you export your model uh, to NetSim, which creates a TXM file. That's an operation within iThink or Stella, and that creates a file. You then launch the IC NetSim wizard, and the wizard publishes that model to a host server. Um, we provide with IC NetSim when you buy it, we provide a free hosting, but you can also um, host it yourself. You can buy NetSim server to host it yourself on your own Windows server. Once it's been posted to the server, you're given a link that you can then send to all of your colleagues or friends or anyone else you want to see this model. And they can just enter that link in their browser, or they can click on the link and launch the browser, and they'll see and run the simulation. At this point, I'll be passing it off to Jeremy Merritt, and he'll actually show you this quick, easy process to bring your iThink and Stella models onto the web. Is that going to be OK? <laughs> Hello. And let's just end the PowerPoint here. Sorry about that. Hello, my name is Jeremy Merritt. I'm the lead software developer of uh, IC NetSim. Um, thank you, Kareem, for uh, setting the context here for the webinar today. And uh, I just want to remind everyone, like Kareem said, that you can, um, we, we can't hear you, so if you have questions as we go along, be sure to enter them into the questions panel. And we're going to queue those up so that we have time at the end to answer the questions. Uh, so here we go. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare an iThink or Stella model for the web, and then how to publish the model online using IC NetSim. So first off, some assumptions and disclaimers. The, the demonstration uh, is intended for people who are familiar with iThink and Stella. Uh, I'm assuming everyone knows what a stock and flow model is and has some familiarity with building models with iThink or Stella. 
Uh, if you've not used I think or Stella before, the webinar will uh, still be of value. Just keep in mind I'm not going to go into the mechanics of uh, building models. I'm focusing on building uh, interfaces to models so that they can be published online. So what to think about when you're creating an interface um, given that you're going to be distributing the model through the web using IC NetSim. There's a couple of things to think about there. So I am assuming that not everyone has seen IC NetSim before. So we'll be focusing on how to use the IC NetSim wizard uh, to publish your models online as well. Okay, so we uh, just have a short amount of time here. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to move along at a pretty steady pace. Uh, while you're watching the demonstration, you know, once again, feel free to enter any questions you have. And we'll try to answer as many as possible at the end. And if we can't answer all the questions in the time allotted, we will make sure that we email the group um, that is attending the webinar today with those answers. OK, let's begin. Here um, I have, I think, 9.1 open. Um, this could very well be Stella. Uh, I just happen to have it in, I think, at this point. So like Kareem mentioned, um, in order to use IC NetSim, you need to build your model with I think 9.1 or later. Uh, and right now we just have 9.1 is the most current version of the software. So here we go. You start off in I think, and I'm just going to show you a model that's pre built, and then we're going to focus on actually preparing the interface uh, to publish using IC NetSim. So um, we have a very simple resource dynamics, natural resource dynamics model um, that has uh, a population and natural resources. And you can see the two things are dependent on one another. And so, um, and this is actually set up in modules. We have a population module. And if we go down into the population module, you see the population and it's dependent on uh, dependence on natural resources. And I've also included a picture of the graphical function that drives the death rate because there's an important relationship there. And I've included that so that we can show it on the web. We'll talk about more, more about that in a minute. Um, and it's just a quick look at the other uh, module, which is natural resources. And you can see with natural resources, you have things like um, the population consuming the natural resource and then a regeneration rate of the natural resource. So, Basic stuff that I'm assuming everyone has seen before, a uh, simple model. Let's take a look at how we can prepare this to share online using IC NetSim. OK, I'm going to go back uh, up here to the top level, and I'm going to start to look at the interface. Here I have uh, the beginnings of an interface for this model uh, to share with people. Um, if I scroll over, you'll see I have the beginnings of a home page. If I scroll over, I have another page, the beginnings of a control panel. When you are thinking about publishing your models for the web using IC NetSim, the first thing that you have to do is organize the interface into pages because you're not the user is not going to be running, I think, um, or Stella in their browser, and they're not going to be able to scroll over like I just did. They actually need to use navigation buttons to move around to the different pages. Of it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use um, go into Interface Preferences. And when I open up this dialog, I'm going to look at the options for the interface. And I'm going to check off Show Pages so that I can see the pages, how the pages are defined in the interface layer, and to make sure that everything is laid out within pages. Um, you can adjust the page size by clicking the Page Size button. Right now, the page size is um, 800 by 600, which is a good default for the browser because uh, most people's screens will be able to show uh, the simulation without um, having to scroll around too much. So I'm going to press OK. Uh, I've checked off Show Pages. I'm going to press OK. And now I want to show you something here. I'm going to actually just maximize, I think, so we can kind of see what's going on. 